Hello world, let's discuss how glaciers sculpt the land, depositional landforms. As the glacier moves, it carves out land and leaves its mark. As the glacier melts and moves, it drops unassorted debris randomly mixed together, called glacial till. The debris that is small enough to be carried by the meltwater streams of glaciers are called outwash deposits. These are roughly stratified and spread across the plains at the foot of the glacial mountains called the outwash plains. Now as the glacier moves, heaps of glacial till called moraines are formed. As the ice moves it rubs against the valley walls piling up moraines along the sides called lateral moraines. When two glaciers merge, their lateral moraines join to form medial moraines. Beneath the glacier, the scattered glacial till becomes the ground moraine. And at the end of the glacier, when it finally stops, the deposits are called terminal moraines. Streams of meltwater flowing below the glacier but above the ground or through the tunnels in the glacier deposit sinuous ridges of sand and gravel called eskers. As the glacier moves forward, it is heavily loaded with rock debris. Some of that debris can fall through cracks and fissures to the base. Over time, this material gets compressed and reshaped by the movement of the glacier above it, forming smooth oval-shaped hills called drumlins. These drumlins look like inverted spoon with a steep end called the stoss facing the direction the glacier came from and a long gentle slope called tail pointing in the direction the glacier moved. They are aligned parallel to the glacier's movement and can rise up to 30 meters high. When the ice is gone, these landforms remain as the glacier's footprint on earth.